in the specific features you got in the pro version, you got first the function called emboss. So here I got a sketch on the on the part, and I will emboss this sketch on this part. So let's click on emboss, and I will select this profile. So this one here, and the profile here will be. Uh, the target is going to be that face, and I will make an offset of one millimeter here, so you can see the offset. And okay, I did a pad on that. You can also create some patterning uh, along a curve by just clicking on pattern here and along curve. The body is going to be that one, and the path is going to be here. On this definition, I ask for equal spacing, which means every instance is equally spaced. Uh, and you can define the number of entities if I ask one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So let's go back to five and okay, or two, three and okay. Now let's see what we can do with uh, some specific curves like. Uh, X curve. So here we got part, and if we look at what we did, we just did a, a basic uh, revolution on that. Here I'm going just to create a, uh, a chamfer because if I create an helix, uh, I need to have the in 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 at the beginning with the chamfer. So let's make a chamfer of one millimeter at 45 degrees. Okay. Now let's look at what we got in the cloud. Uh, and let's check where it should start or any point of the path where it should be. Um, maybe I should create a section there just to be sure about the, the starting point. Okay. And no, it's not very easy. I will make that one and maybe I will make that one and intersect the two. So trim, corner trim, and let's make intersection there and exit. So from that, I will just get the point, which is the start point of my revolution. Okay, so that point and okay. So now I got this point and I got still the part. So I will ask the software now to, to create that curve. So if I go to model, I can ask for an helix curve. So the software asks me if it's a constant or, or variable uh, step. So I will make constant. The axis, it's going to be that one. So it's Z, Z axis. And the start point, it's going to be the point I'm defined, I defined just before the point one. Okay. So you can see right now an helix. Uh, software asks me counterclockwise or clockwise, it's going to be clockwise. Okay. Uh, counterclockwise, sorry. Okay, so now I'm guessing that, so right now I just made some parameters which are there. I need to know what's inside the part, so I will just estimate, and you can see now the software shows me what you got on the part. So. Right now, I'm going to uh, go in the opposite direction. So the axis, I need to make it in the other direction. Okay. And I need to define my step. So you can see one point here. The second point should be there, not there. So I need to tell the software that I got more revolution or the, the step. So I get 10 revolution or a little bit more so it's it's too much so eight or you can i ask for the pitch seven and i got a pitch of two two point two two point four okay that's better and now I'm going to ask the software to make more revolution. So, it's revolution. 
and I need to define that until there and Two point two, two point three. Okay, and then ask also to get to the opposite direction a little bit more. So maybe two or three the revolution on the other side, and okay. And from that you get that shape. So again, now I'm going to just do another sketch on that. Okay. And from here, I will just create roughly the, the line. So the, the shape of that. So I got this. I will create here just a center line from here to there and make a mirror of compared to that one of that line. So I can see it's way too far right now. But now I will move, so I will lock that line. And I will move that one just to make it closer. And I will just trim it from here to there. I can make also a little fillet from here to there. Okay. And I will close my shape by a line from here to there. Okay. Now from that, I will just ask the software to make a sweep. So a sweep in solid, the profile is that one, the path is that one. So sweep. So I will make a sweep of that shape and take the path which is going to be there and also tell the software that it has to align that shape a longer direction, which is going to be a vector Z. And I can cut. Okay, so if I look now at my part. So now I've just defined that my, my part has been modified. I did a lot of features on that. And at a point of time, I just see that, well, I made a mistake. I, this face should have been below or higher. So I can always go back to the previous, or if I export it to a step, I cannot modify it. So I need maybe to move that face. So here you have the move face feature. You can select the face, you can select the direction of the face, and you have, you can define it by two millimeters, uh, dot 20, two millimeters. So you can see that it's gonna move the face by two millimeters. And try to continue the shape it does. So you see that I didn't lose the, the, the fillet. But I can see that it's even worse. I don't want to have a plane on top. I want to have a freeform shape. So let's make here a sketch. And on this side, for instance, and uh, let's make a curve and make a spline. So make a spline like whatever spline I want to create. From that spline, I will make an extrude. So extrude in surface model, mid plane, and okay. And then from that, I will ask the software to replace my face. So replace which face, that one, by that one. And the software updates that, and okay. So I don't need to go back and modify my complete definition. One thing though, is when you use a surface and you want to, you used it, uh, sometimes you don't want to, to, to use that and to have that entity anymore. And you cannot select the face here and press delete because otherwise the software is going to tell you that every child, children, uh, children features will be removed. So, you need to do it in a parametric way. In order to do that, you have to make delete face or delete body. Be careful, this is a face, but in, in, in fact, it's a surface body. So I will delete the body here and okay. So it's a parametric feature, which is there.
And finally, you can also duplicate the body or transform the body by, uh, and also you can activate duplicate inside. So duplicate body, it will copy the body. So it's just a duplication. But what you can do, in fact, it's also transform body, this body and duplicate at the same time. In this case, you will move the new body away and you will have a duplication of that.